back for another watch unboxing. Make sure to stay to the end because I got a big boy box right here and there's a lot of good stuff. Should I show them a little sneak preview in it or no? Maybe just a little bit. A little bit, okay. Boom. Nice, nice, right? We only do the best here. All right, guys, let's let's just uh, have people touching my bikes, but unbelievable. <laughs> I'll grab it after, bro. No, no, it's okay. Go for it. No, I'm gonna grab it after. You can Go it for it. School. I mean, let's see what the viewers right, think about start, it. Huh? I mean, what a start. <laughs> They're already taking our watches for the watch unboxing. We can't keep watches in stock over here, dude. Check this out. First up, we got is a Cartier Panther 18 karat yellow gold. It is aftermarket diamonds on the bezel and the outer lugs. It's gonna need a light polish. This one we're gonna do it for about $13,500. But believe it or not, this is the hottest thing in the market right now. Panthers, we cannot keep in stock. Any of them that we get, they move right away. Rolex, day date, 36 millimeters, smooth bezel, white Roman dial. You don't find these too common. So this is not the ever rose gold. This is gonna be the rose gold. Rolex introduced the ever rose gold after this model. This is gonna be the 118205. And we're gonna be doing this one for around 23,000. Box and card, papers, everything. Oh, this is nice. This is sick actually, dude. Breitling Bentley solid 18 karat yellow gold. Believe it or not, we don't come by this watch every day. And honestly, when it comes in, it actually sells instantly. It's pretty, dude. That is cool, actually. Right? Even comes with a leather strap and a deployment buckle. I love this watch. This one, I'm gonna price it around like 29,000. It's not bad. It's a nice right? watch for 29. Are you kidding me? This, this retail, when they had this, it probably retailed for close to 50 Gs, dude. Oh, is it actually? Yeah, I mean, feel the weight of it. It's like a brick. Yeah, it's heavy. It's a big oh, boy. Wow. How many times have you got that in? I mean, recently, like never. I mean, whoever has them kind of keeps them, to be honest. Because they don't make too many like yellow gold watches like that. You know right. what I mean? With bright links. They make them a lot on leather straps, but not really on the bracelet. 18 karat yellow gold GMT green dial discontinued. Gorgeous watch. Black ceramic bezel, 40 millimeter casing, oyster bracelet. This one, we're gonna do it for around $43,500. Great piece, great watch. I'd rather have that or the previous watch? This. The other one is a little too big for me, ah. but a lot of people like it. You know, if you like bigger watches, it's actually a perfect watch for you. And in, especially in all gold, you know what I mean? So this is gonna be a Panerai 18 karat rolls gold submersible. This is gonna be the 42 millimeter case size. This will be box papers complete. This one we're gonna be pricing at around 18,500. The retail is over 30 grand. 18 karat yellow gold sky dweller, black dial. This is box papers and it is going to be a 2021 complete. Needs a light touch up. This one we're gonna be doing it for about 40, 3,000. Look guys, these, these watch unboxings I do are fully random. Like I'm not picking the items out. It's literally like what we bought on the last day or two. Rolex Datejust 26 millimeter with date, smooth bezel, beautiful dial, oyster bracelet. This one will be around like 4,800. Check this out. Omega GMT, all black ceramic. Black ceramic, this is a pretty piece, dude. Look at it. Look at the strap. I mean, even the coloration on it. I mean, it's a beautiful watch. Box paper is fully complete. This one, we're gonna be doing it around 6,700. Great value for the money. Do you still have problems when you get in a nice watch and you just wanna keep it? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. But then my brother comes around, yeah. so I gotta sell it. Next up, we got is a 18 karat white gold ghost. This is gonna be the newer reference. So it's gonna have the black ceramic with the white gold on the outer part of the bezel, 18 karat white gold casing, silver dial with the black sub dials, gorgeous black oyster flex strap on a deployment buckle, still stickered. Brand new 2024 box and papers. This one, we are going to be doing it at $44,000. Screaming deals. I like that. You like that name? Yeah. yeah. I wish I would have told you I made it up myself, but I didn't make it up myself. <laughs> so AP has a ghost as well? AP has a ghost too. Yeah. Yeah. AP has a ghost. And that was actually one of the, uh, you know, at that time when that watch first got released, it was actually my favorite watch. Really? Yeah. Do you have one in your collection? Um, I don't because you know my problem is with personal collections is if I wear it and a customer wants it I have to give it to them. So I can't really have a personal collection. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Rolex Daytona Black ceramic. This is gonna be the 116 reference number black dial black bezel oyster bracelet box paper is fully complete This one we're gonna be doing it at 27,000. All right, let's see what we got in here. Brightlink. We have a lot of Brightlink fans out there I actually like Brightlinks. Brightlink Super Ocean Chronograph Black bezel, black dial, on a mesh bracelet, box papers, complete. This one will do it for around 3,900. Boom. Probably one of the nicer mesh bracelets I've seen. Oh yeah, for sure. Brian Link actually does a really good job with that. Now I guess the better question, is there any watch in your personal collection that you will never sell? No. 
Really? Yeah, don't ask me stuff like that, Nate, because then I just look like a a savage that just sells everything. Paddock, Calatrava, 18 karat yellow gold with the second hand right over there. Closed case back, gorgeous strap. This one we're gonna be doing it at 12,500. So I guess uh, no watch gives for, for Danny. He's just no, sell I sell them, baby. I mean, we move them. What do you want me to say? You might sell me back the watch I give to you, huh? Huh? <laughs> you might sell me back the watch I give to you, huh? You never know. So this is gonna be a VC, 4,000 U, 18 karat rose gold, day, date, function. I mean, this is a good looking piece. I think it measures at a 43 millimeter case size. I mean, check it out on the wrist. It's actually oversized for a dress watch. Gorgeous piece. I mean, I love the look of it. I mean, Vacheron makes gorgeous time pieces. I wanna say the retail is close to 40 grand on this too. And we're gonna be doing this one for about $24,500. Great price, box papers, fully complete. And we have a lot more good stuff too. How come they didn't give me all the good stuff? David, you holding it out on us? Because we gotta keep the people happy, you know? The new Bruce Wayne on Jubilee bracelet, black dial, beautiful gray bezel going into the black. So this, for you guys that don't know, this is one of the newest releases for the GMTs. They nicknamed it the Bruce Wayne. Gorgeous piece, beautiful. We're gonna be doing this one at 24,000. Oh, you know what, actually, I just bought this the other day. This is a cool piece. This is an 18 karat rose gold Chopard Imperial factory diamond bezel, green dial, green strap. The retail on this is over $40,000. I have it for $18,000. That's, cool That's, That's a deal. That's a deal. You know what? Follow me, Nate. Come, let's go. Let's go check out what else we got on the back and see why they're holding out on us. Chris, are you holding out all the good watches on this? RM10, 18 karat white gold. It is box only. I mean, you can send it to Richard Mill, get archives on it if you do a service on it. $100,000 for a Richard Mill. 100, I mean, where are you gonna get a Richard Mill for 100K? And if you're in a budget, you got 3K white gold precision. Yeah, this is Chris's favorite watch. I love 18 it. karat <laughs> white gold precision. I mean, look at this, the, the dial size. I mean, great looking piece. What are we doing this one at, Chris? $3,000. $3,000, guys, for an 18 karat solid white gold watch. Love it. You have any else? anything else up your sleeve? Oh, you know what? Check this piece yeah. out, too. One of my favorite. I just bought. Is this your favorite? Dude, I love that thing. Really? I like it a lot. And you know what, guys? We can't sell it because Ty likes it. 18 karat star wheel. This is probably one of the coolest codes they made. You got the Eventurine dial on the back, black contrast, silver on the inside. It's a pretty watch. They made a good looking piece. This one we're going to be doing at $76,000. It's going to be one of the cheapest in the world for this. Not too many people have this. And it's box papers complete. I have some more pieces too. Stay tuned. We are back. Next up we got is a Cartier Ronde Solo. This is going to be the oversized one. Great looking piece, stainless steel, box papers. This one we're going to be doing it at $4,000. Oyster Flex, Yacht Master, box papers, complete. This is going to be the previous reference number. It's going to be the 116655. And this one, we're gonna be doing it at $26,000. Next up we got is a Batman 40 millimeter with the black bezel going into the black oyster bracelet. Does need to polish. This is box papers. We're gonna be doing it around $16,000. Now for the people at home watching, Batgirl and Batman, what's the difference? The bracelet. So the Jubilee bracelet's the Batgirl. The oyster bracelet's the Batman. Next up we got is a Pepsi. Man, they're holding out all the good stuff on us, Nate. <laughs> oh 40 millimeter Pepsi, stainless steel, red bezel going into the blue. 2022 box papers. We're gonna be doing it at 20,500. Next time we just gotta go get our sales name. 18 karat, rose gold, stainless steel, 40 millimeter brown going into the black bezel root beer. This one we're gonna be doing it at 18,500. Good price. Oh, this is cool. I like this watch. This is one of the classics. Cartier Santos, large stainless steel, black on black. This one we're gonna be doing it at 4,600. And these will all be polished guys. So when you come in to get it, they're, they will be, well, the ones that need polish will be polished. The ones that don't will obviously not be. Um, but they will be ready to buy fresh. 36 millimeter date dress, custom diamond bezel, custom diamond dial, Jubilee bracelet. We're gonna be doing it at 10,500. Good value for the money. If you want something with diamonds, you don't wanna pay 25, 30 grand for a factory one. This is a good alternative. Panda on bracelet, stainless steel, white with the black sub dials, thicker casing, cause it is the offshore. This one we're gonna be doing it at 21,500. Next up we got is the Ulysse Nardine Sonata. I mean, you're gonna have the on and off button right over here. You're gonna have the countdown, time, big date wheel. I mean, for the movement and the complications on this watch at $23,000, you really can't go wrong with it. I mean, you're gonna have the see-through case back. I mean, Ulysse Nardine really crushes it with their watches. I mean, look, you can literally click this too and go from on to off on that. Next up we got is a colorful, Frank Mueller. Frank Mueller, stainless steel, colorful date wheel. It's not gonna be the crazy hours, but still great looking piece. This one we're gonna be doing it at $6,500. 
stainless steel casing, great watch. These actually don't come around too often anymore, which I like them. When they come in, they actually move pretty quick too. Now this is gonna be a fun one for you guys, okay? I'm probably gonna irritate a lot of people, but this is gonna be funny. You ready? I got a Hublot Spirit of Bang Unico. Now look what I'm gonna do. Can you tell the similarities? <laughs> I mean, look, dude. Hey, man, you have David sitting down. But that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's how mad. Hey, you know what? I like it. I would rock it. For $16,000 versus $100, I mean, come on. I mean, right or wrong? I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, know. honestly, look at it, dude. What do you think, Nate? That's a big cat. How big is that? This, uh, it's, this is a larger one. I want to say it measures out like a 48. Yeah, that's huge. But. I don't You're know. trying to make a statement. That I'm is, trying to make a statement, bro. Lot. You know what? Take a picture, frame it. <laughs> Send it to Nico. Huh? Send it to Nico. <laughs> Nico, here you go, baby. That's for you. I'm going to frame this picture like this, Nico, and I'm going to send it to you. And you better put it up in your showroom. Okay, next up, we got as a 39 millimeter AP 18 karat rose gold box papers on a leather strap, if I can get it out. Beautiful white dial. Great looking piece, gorgeous strap, in immaculate condition. This one we're gonna be doing at $33,000. Great value. You can actually buy a bracelet for this too and dress it up a lot. I like that. Yeah, me too. We got an 18 karat yellow gold GMT. Yep. 18 karat yellow gold GMT with another green dial. 18 karat yellow gold Oyster Flex Daytona. 18 karat two tone Datejust 41 millimeter. And then this is kind of cool actually. This is a two tone GMT. This is actually a factory green dial on there. Cool piece, huh? So we got 37.5, we got 45,000. This one is gonna be new old stock, 2022. We're gonna be doing this one at 43,500. This is also new old stock. We're gonna be doing it at 17,000. This one, we're gonna be doing it at 21,000. Yes, sir. All right, we're ready for the big boy box, okay? You ready for me, Nate? Check this out. What do you think? Man. Good or bad? No, this is great, what do you mean? Cool piece, huh? Yeah. I mean, look at this. You got a 5205G annual calendar, blue on blue. Great looking piece. This one is around like $55,000. You got a 5726, another annual calendar, Paddock 2024, brand new, $82,000. RM30 2024 paperwork. This one we're gonna be doing it at 205. VC perpetual calendar, ultra thin. Let me check this watch out. Rose gold. Skeleton case back. I mean, ultra. Look at that. Look at how thin it is. Look at the amount of complications they're adding to this watch in that thin of a case. You come to the blue strap, two blue straps actually, and the rose gold bracelet. And this one, we're going to be doing it at $155,000. You got the ladies RM right over there. This is a Paddock 5164. Um, it is box only, no papers. And this one, we're gonna be doing it at $68,500. 5160G perpetual calendar, just discontinued. And this one, we're gonna be doing it at $165,000. Let me check the case back on that, dude. And look at this, you can actually open it up, see the movement on it. I mean, it comes in a special box too with the design, all hand engraving. You know, these pieces from Paddock, in order to buy it, I mean, it's not like you could just walk into Paddock and be able to order this. It's, it's by approval only. I mean, look at this, 5270, perpetual calendar, grand complication, platinum casing, beautiful green light going into the dark with the strap, 2024, brand new. This one is about 203. And then this is gonna be the 5711 with the green dial, 2022 box papers. It needs a light touch up, but I'll let the new owner decide if he wants to touch it up or not. This one, we're gonna be doing it at 230,000. And this is actually a really cool Panerai. This one, you actually have to be approved as well by Switzerland in order to buy it. All hand engraving on that, look at that, dude. Such a cool piece. The Frenzy, I mean, on the wrist especially, it wears really well, wears super comfortable. And this one, we're gonna be doing it at 51,000. Should we do some of the stuff that we have in the showcase too? Yeah. Well, you know, here, we got the new Sky Dweller. Rose gold, blue dial, $74,000. We got some of the H Mosers. I mean, look guys, I don't show everything, but we have a ton of inventory. I mean, with H Mosers, AP green, 1510, 15500 gray dial, 1510 OR blue, 15510 black, I think it's the 50th anniversary. Reverse Paul Newman dial, rose gold Daytonas, paddocks over here. I mean, you name it, we got it. I mean, look at this, like turbulence in here, blue sky dwellers, 
I mean, you got a bunch of Daytonas. I think you guys just need to come in or just reach out to us I and mean, we have it all. Whatever you guys want. All right, guys, that's my watch unboxing. Thanks for always watching. And make sure to comment down below what video you would like me to do next. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for always watching.